This is a summary of Act 4, Scene 1, and I like to call this the plan of no return. So this is starting off right when Act 3 ends, and what took place was basically Juliet's dad, Capulet, is forcing her to marry Paris. And she tries to stand up for herself, and she says, no, I'm not going to marry him. And he pretty much disowns her threatens her to kick her out of the house. So at the very end of that scene, she decides to tell, um, to, to well, she tells her nurse that she's going to go to Friar Lawrence's cell to confess her sins and be forgiven of her disobedience to, towards her parents. But we come to find that she is lying. You know, she has her own um, intentions. She's planning to find another um, plan entirely with Friar in hopes that she can get out of marrying Paris altogether. So that's where this scene starts. This scene um, has Paris, Friar, and Juliet. The scene starts off with Paris talking to Friar, asking him to marry him and Juliet, which, as we know, Friar knows Juliet is already married. Um, Juliet comes into the scene, and it's this really awkward conversation between Friar, Paris, and Juliet, and Paris has no idea that Juliet's tears are really not for Tybalt, it's really because of Romeo, one, being banished, and two, her for having to be, she's being forced to marry someone that she, one, doesn't love, and she's already taken. So um, Paris leaves, and Juliet finally um, starts to talk to Friar about what option she has, and of course Friar comes up with one. He basically wants her to tell her parents that she does accept the um, marriage, obviously lying to them, and Friar is going to give her a potion to put her in a sleep-like death. And it's going to um, pretty much make her look and seem dead for an entire 42 hours. This will cause cause the family to plan her funeral, and she will be buried in the Capulet family tomb, where Romeo is planning to meet her there to take her from the tomb, and they would flee to Mantua. Juliet agrees with this plan, um, even though there's a lot of things at stake. And Friar says he will send a letter to Romeo to let him know, to update him on this plan. So this all takes place in Friar's cell. Juliet's desperation calls for desperate measures. She's really not desiring to marry Paris, already being a married woman. So she takes kind of plans in her own hands and um, goes about some really desperate um, measures. So take time to read Act 4, Scene 1, and enjoy.